So, hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, another playthrough of Heroes Souls 4. We are of course playing with the World of Warcraft in the mod, like I said before. I am not done with this mod yet, and I think there is a lot more to explore and to try out. And this time, uh, I did actually have an idea of what I wanted to do first, but uh, the thing is that the thing that I want to do is not on the map yet. Now, I am not a big fan of starting games with nations that do not exist yet, because or uh, uh, later start dates. Because the later start dates usually means that there's some fu uh, fucky stuff happening with idea groups and stuff like that. And and the costs and such. I did want to play there as the Scourge, but I think I have something else in mind at the moment. So we're just gonna play as someone near the Scourge. Asyol Nerup. Led by King Anubarak Anuba. Those are spiders. Sentient spiders as far as I think. Big big old spiders as well. We're gonna have some fun with them because they have some inter interesting stuff going on. But for now, let's jump into it and then we're gonna talk about everything that they have in the game. They are also somewhat related to, uh, I think, the Scourge because I think they get uh, uh, subjugated by the by the Lich King or something like that. Either way, we have King Anubarak Anubar in charge, who is well, good, 6 for 6. He is also lustful, which reduces front spy detection and religious power, but we have a chance of a new air. Well, that doesn't really matter for me, so I guess that's alright. We are a spellcaster and we have the Nur Nurubian uh, Empire as a modifier, uh, as a government form. Uh, this one's actually pretty good. We have a special succession event at the end uh, at our ruler death, and we will also not get pretender rebels. I don't think we will have to be concerned about that at all. We do get a boost to manpower and land force, lim land force limit and land force limit modifier. We get a tech co cost reduction, we get innovative gain, and we get governing capacity. Amazing. Just straight up amazing. We are not an empire yet, right? No. But we have a lot of modifiers, decent modifiers. We also fairly rich from this game start, which is going to be good because we have a lot of stuff to do. We also do start with tech cost and dev, uh, idea cost and dev cost reduction, which is also very useful because we know that ideas are very expensive in this mod. We do have some other stu uh, stuff here, we get even more uh, attrition. Tech cost, stock damage, core creation cost, state mains and governing capacity, construction time and construction cost, and Unrest and Stab Cost modifier. And we finish it up with Prestige. So overall, pretty decent. I think we technically also have something to form, but this formable is like we need to g or once again go somewhere far away. So there's that. There are the As As Aki Empire. You see, we are a little bit far away for that to be done. But I think we form something from the missionary, so... I don't know. Either way, Let's start with the game configurations, because feature features I want to enable this. The rest of the stuff is all alright. Modifiers and all of the mechanics. Difficulty, we want to uh, disable this. This is the automatically take provinces with successful features modifier, which are, uh, or thingy that I hate. And content, we don't want to stop anything, so we just finalize this bad boy. We are also a spellcaster. And not a good one, but we are one. So... I'll just quickly do some of these. <laughs> I guess we can also uh, immediately uh, improve something, and I think I want to do that. I guess I'll take admin. Just so that it is, this is done. We also technically can undergo mage training, or uh, not mage, uh, class training, which is going to be interesting. Build management. Okay, we have a little bit to do here. Let's start with automatic construction. Farm immediately. Temple as well, yep. Mine. Mark barracks. Shipyard and dockyard. Training ground, I think we also don't want. No. Manufactory. 
Automated destruction is... I don't think this time I want to remove the internment camps. I want to actually actively build some of these and then remove them later on. So we want to get rid of taverns. I think tavern was a shit one. Yeah, autonomy, institution spread. We don't need that. Shipyard, dockyard, tower is also shit. That was the defensive one. We don't need that. Training ground, we also don't need. Alright, gold consumption limit is 500. We need a little bit of money. So, been there, done that. We have a bit of stuff to do here. We have something to convert. We'll start right away with that. We do follow the void. All it takes is a few whispers from the void to start driving someone mad. This insanity comes from strength. Uh, it comes with strength and purpose, and for some, even visions of the future. The magics of the void are powerful as are the entity are the entities that live there, known as to most as old gods. Their control is hard to resist, and once a people embrace these foreign magics, they quickly become united in spreading the truths of the void. Most raiders above ground know these powers to be dangerous and are wary of their spread. Well, we are not above ground, and we have prestige decay and low cultural conversion costs, which is going to be very important for us, because we do want to turn everything into our culture, this time with actual purpose, really. Why are you glowing? But yeah, we are spreading that as well as possible. We do have a lot of army to build, so let's actually get this started. At the same time, we have some stuff to do here. We only have our, um, um, we only have two here. But we do want to, of course, start seizing land right away. And I think we're just gonna do the nobility. So, let's turn on some stuff here. Privileges, I mean, of course, the tech cost reduction, I'll take right away. Uh, we'll take the unfortunate of faith. We're, s we're gonna take ev ev evangelism later on, but not now. We are still gonna take this one. Alright, anything else I want to turn on? I guess I could... Uh, and I might as well actually turn this on, screw it. So. That seems reasonable. Yeah. I guess we later we could also turn on this at some point, or maybe even the the clergy uh, influential clergy. But for now, let's leave it as this. Wait. Oh, there we no, this, no, that's just free policy. I thought this was a free point, but no. All right, mill. Of course, the mill tech cost reduction, obviously. That's about it. I think we probably want this one at some point. Actually, we can do this already. Well, then let's do it. Lovely. There's no button that we want to actually click here for now. Now we're getting army. We're gonna restructure it at some point, but for now we'll just take it. I guess we'll just make money now. And then later on get advisors. Oh right, something far more important. So we are in tunnels here, we are underground. Which is is defensiveness. And we But we are connected through tunnels in this direction. We're connected through tunnels in this direction. We're connected uh, to this single province here. You guys are connected, you guys are connected. And then we have some territory around here, which we currently don't care about too much. We're of course converting it, but that's about it. But you might have seen that we have another modifier here. That is the Nerubian Tunnels modifier. All of our tunnels inside here have this modifier. And that is tied to our culture group, that we own it, and that it has a distant development. And that means that we can dig further. You see, it, it's just as a bunch of modifiers. Death cost, goods produced, tax. So basically it's like a mini hold. To a certain degree, but it does a, l a, few, a few things differently. But we later on will be able to dig this further and spread this tunnel system. This also allows us to basically freely tra traverse in these tunnels. Which is like portals, then. But this also means that we will try to build as tall as possible. So current current goal is to stack death cost reduction as well as possible. But, before we talked enough, 
missions we currently have is to actually get everything to 5 development in our own region and our own region our own region is literally this this is our region it doesn't go anywhere anywhere else and we need to get our army up and manpower up so something that i also want to do is actually get to you guys and start building a spy network because you're just a single province uh, miner over here that i would like to beat up but we'll see then for now we're just gonna build up this one army or we probably also should speed and we should rival someone you've rivaled me i don't really want you as a rival i'd rather look for something a little bit easier there we go and there we go let me see if anybody wants to be my friend Oh, right, we also get our special modifiers. Uh, you guys seem alright. Good. So we get a def... Our administration gets def cost reduction, production efficiency increase and state maintenance, but we get a reduced trade efficiency. I think for trade we don't really need to care at the moment. There is an end note here that we might want to get later on, but for now we are very much just tiny in this. On the other hand, our military is defensive. Very defensive, to be honest. We get attrition, we get land attrition reduction, we get reinforced speed, we get fort defense and supply limit increase. We also take less damage, but we are slower. We, our reinforced costs are higher and our generals are, are more expensive. So we basically kind of want to grind the enemy to death on, our, on us, in a certain way. That's interesting, to say the least. Ugh, this appearance brood is guaranteeing you. That's not nice. And you're allied to someone. Who are you allied to? Mosswalker. Hmm. Uh, Dolomite? That is... Okay, sure. I'll do with I'll do with allies. One, two. Been there, done that. Now it's time for advisors. We do have a reinforced speed and a manpower recovery speed here. I guess the manpower recovery speed is gonna be the one thing that we want. Because we currently need to get our stuff back. Also, let's see if we can find a decent general. That's a maneuver boy, if I ever saw one. And I guess I would also start drilling right away. We'll see if we fight these guys, because currently they're getting guaranteed. Which means that we would have to fight a decent bunch of enemies. And currently nobody's willing to join me. Wait a second. Most Walker would join me. Or, like, would ally me. Okay, that doesn't change anything here. There's a lot of people who actually want to be my friends. I think actually having this protection here from the side might be interesting. As well. Uh, Diplo, we just take you. And then we'll take you. So, we're getting more than enough money here. We can easily sustain that. We do have some rebellions probably popping up. We'll see about that. For well, now, it's time to drill. We do have no centers of trade, and we probably want to deal with this at some point. I think our capital is not special at all, right? Yeah. Just very normal. Very, very normal. Seriously? We already have enough uh, uprising chance here, but I think as soon as we have you converted, it's gonna look a lot better. But we're immediately gonna do something else with you as well. There we go. 
Now you might say, hey, is this, isn't that exactly the thing that you did last game? Yes, but I'm gonna be more efficient about it now. <laughs> That's the only thing. We have recently drained magic. Let's see if we have enough magic to go for the next... Uh... Jesus Christ, you see how fast this is? This is so ridiculous. Uh, let's do... There we go. The last. Stability. At the moment I think we're gonna just let the magic rise until we have... Everything. So we can claim that. Now one thing that I'm concerned about is our... Currently our gates are wide open. This bad boy costs a hundred. I would like to lock this off before I do anything. Right? Currently we have three entrances into our... I mean we technically also have this stuff here but it's not too important. I'm not too concerned. We actually immediately start with uh, <laughs> an idea group. Right, I forgot about that. Well, I guess we're gonna spend a little bit of time here. <laughs> Innovative... I don't think actually... I mean, I guess there is an idea cost reduction here. Administration, leaders without upkeep. We get even more recruit uh, uh, professionalism from that. What is the cost? I do obviously want a religious ideas for the culture for the culture conversion alone there is economic with death cost reduction we don't need any of this nonsense administrative is also not gonna offer us anything that we want harmony we definitely don't want law doesn't give me any death cost reduction development obviously i don't but i don't think this is gonna be a first Absolutism. Is the state there is the state with governing cost, which we once again are very fond of. Autonomy does have a bit of death cost reduction, but nothing crazy. So definitely not worth it at the moment. Monarchy There's a calf compatibility. No. Imperialism I also don't think we want. No. So there is not much military, uh, uh, like death cost uh, reduction. Is there anything maybe here? That immediately jumps into the eye. Innovativeness? That might, that, I, uh, that might even encourage me to start with innovativeness, to be honest. Getting immediate point reductions uh, for the rest of the game feels correct. And we are not gonna really go crazy with admin, anyway. So yeah, I think I'll do that. None of, the, none of the others really give me anything that I want. I think. Yeah. Of course, military at some point. I mean, how defensive can we get here? <laughs> we are slow, so we don't really need to... Or we are slower, so I don't think we really need to care about this too much. I mean, once again, I feel like we're probably gonna do a lot here. I also feel like we're gonna go for professionalism again. But no, I think I'll start... Actually, I'm gonna start with innovation. And this one. Which also means that we're gonna focus on admin. Well, what a coincidence. <laughs> right, for, for now, let's claim this. Oh! One of our nobles had a child. We can parade it around, which gives us tech cost reduction and institution spread, or we get just straight up prestige. We have a lot of prestige for, to start with. I guess we are gonna take this small tech cost reduction. There we go. Immediately get a military advantage. You're on zero, so we are even ahead of you. Interesting. How long does this fort take? 27 months. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna do one inside and one outside. Just to be double safe. Does this connect to somewhere else? This connects to here as well. So technically if we start a war with you, we immediately also have to fight these guys. 
Hmm. But at the same time, I feel like... I mean, we do need the manpower, now that I think about it. So maybe maybe we'll wait for this. This, of course, gives us other claims as well. First, where do we even get claims here? To regain a core on Cathedral of Darkness and Battle Scar Spire? Where the hell is that? Battle... Scar Spire? Oh. Don't tell me you have to fight Jotunheim. Jotunheim is actually strong. I don't like that. We gain a core on the Cathedral of Darkness, which is here. And I guess we just get claims on these two areas. Yep, we exactly get claims on that. And then we get uh, War on Surface. Why not? I, f I feel like uh, this one would have been just healthier to do uh, st from the start. It's a one province minor? That just feels correct. They are also allied to each other. You're also allied to Wintercorn, which is these guys. That's a lot of dudes. Not gonna lie. I feel like I need allies for this. Maybe I'll also actually wait for this to pop up so that the cores don't tick down. Hey, you're actually improving. That's also nice. Of course, we can still have the defensive approach. Okay, it's only construction time. So... We will lock off first. I feel like I also should wait until I get someone involved. Okay, so Ice Mist would join this time. You guys are too distant. And your ruler... Of course. I don't think I'll expect to really get good rulers out of this. Or good traits for rulers. What do we have here? We have Commission, Guild Labor, and Archaeological Society. All of this stuff doesn't work. We, don't ca we can't do Peasantry, we can't do Slavery. We also can't deserve them, to be honest. I'm alright with death cost reduction. Completely alright with that. <coughs> there we go. First fort done. We do have a chunky defensiveness here. You're not strong, right? Yeah, I think this is definitely our first attack. Oh, I think I should have waited. Well, whatever. Let's start with this here. Also gives us a thingy. We are doing quite well here. Oh! Well, that's fantastic. That helps out a lot. Thank you very much, game. I appreciate it. Once again, a gifted child. We already have this modifier, right? It lasts 10 years. We'll take the prestige. Hmm. I mean, we could... I mean, I feel like all of these attacks are gonna be bad. So, I mean, this is a minus 2, though. Hmm. You're down to 13. These guys seem to not defend themselves. I mean, you're both of my rivals, right? You do have some war exhaustion. What if we take a look at the other side of this? You do have another ally. Okay, so you are definitely going to be our first target. When it comes to spreading out. I don't even want to take the reconquest castle spell I hear. I actually want to take something else. Now, now that we have this opportunity to actually attack you, we can call in two more nations. So, we'll see about our grass expansion, but for now I think this is reasonable. I didn't even check this stuff here, but I think we're gonna have to wait for this a while anyway. Another idea cost reduction. 
I mean, they are really wanting me to get this stuff. Yeah, because if I take Reconquest, we are gonna get a... Uh, uh, another penalty. So, you are on loan, I assume. Okay, there's your army. I'll actually siege this first. Let's, let's see these guys doing some work. You guys are already doing this stuff here. I'll take it. I assume that you're not claiming it for yourselves. No, the, I, I mean, after all, this is the claim. I hope that you guys are not going too crazy. I would also like to take this area here, despite it being fairly large anyway. But it currently looks like they are kind enough. Come on, fight each other. Oh, that was the dumbest decision that you've ever made. <laughs> I get it that you're strong and I'm probably gonna get kicked here, but... That was an unnecessary amount of loss that you've gotten here. Luckily enough, we do have some auto defenses. You guys, we're just gonna recover here real quick. You've also stopped your war. This is still a very scary fight for you, to be honest. I'll just recover here, no worries. I have time. No need to waste my resources on this. Okay, now these guys are also getting attacked. I mean, we're taking a bit of too much attrition here, so let's split. Could you finish this? Like, <laughs> I hate this. I hate watching you do this here. You're, ru run you're running around it? But you're not really doing anything about it. So we are slow, but this one works. We do need to be a bit careful though, so we don't accidentally get something killed. But this was, yeah, just too good of a fight to uh, not take. We're gonna reinforce that with everything that we have, despite everything being very slow. Innovativeness. Oh Jesus Christ, that was a terrible fight. Uh, you guys come back, get everyone together. Now... Their armies are not really suffering. Okay, where are you running? Come on, but don't be too scared. Alright, let's get this started. Maybe this time on a little bit of a better note. We can take this miltech ahead of time. I'll do that. A little bit of a tech advantage doesn't hurt. I kind of want them to go to this fort here. This army is scarily strong, I have to say. How are you guys looking on the... Uh, okay, you are looking overall alright. Now is the question if they are gonna be fast enough here. Maybe I'll scare them a little bit with my existence. So that they come together and don't do this. Uh. That was dumb as shit. <laughs> like, seriously. That was just straight up dumb. <laughs> okay, but you guys are occupying stuff for me. That's lovely. So this, I mean, we have double your numbers. I don't think that you will survive that. Yeah, good. So, at this point, I would just like everyone else to do the sieging for me. That would be very kind of you. So, with this mission we would get permanent claims on the rest of the stuff, and also a decent reduction in core creation cost. So you guys go back home, enjoy your retirement. Jesus Christ, you guys really want me to keep the prestige up, don't you? There you go. So. I mean, Jotunheim, let's see how heavy this is. Wow, we can't even do that. Okay. 
then what if we do i mean this is gonna be the same cost right good but we do want to at least take this this uh, we want to at least take the core i would also be willing to actually squeeze you a little bit dry before we start a war again you have some unpleasant alliances one of those i don't care about so we'll do that you guys are gonna not be that kind that's a speculative research don't mind if i do this converts on its own so you guys this one is an obvious choice uh, ah we can't just do everything at once that's a shame but i would take all of this obviously No question here. We just need to own... Yeah, this is what I read. That we just need to own this one province here. So, yeah. Who cares about this? Okay, a bunch of people do. So, we'll be, we'll be careful. Oh. So, this is something that I've... Uh, uh, this one is something that I was curious about. Every province in the ice cream region with 10 development in the Rubin culture will always will always get a modifier with no more than 12 months. So I assume this modifier will show up later on. Because also it would be goofy if it, we can click this button without even having, having that much in the Rubin culture around here. Right? So yeah. I mean, the special thing is if you've done the mission encountered dragons and encountered Tuscars, this effect will also work on the Scholars, Scholar Saba Sin region. At the moment, this is just for the Ice Crown region. And we are very keen on getting that, yeah. Let's do it. I mean, the, f the other thing is, like, we're gonna get this later on. So I assume this modifier will pop up here eventually. This culture conversion cost is, is a little bit lost. Because we have separatism. This is not going to happen in this amount of time, so... <laughs> it's just straight up silly. Uh, I think we also have time here to start with another army then. Uh, let's first of all see... This is not in oh right wait a second this doesn't increase that fast in this mod we're just gonna wait for now see what happens i would not like to spend admin on this in no more than 12 months it sets it's set Hmm. Yeah, T technically, if this is a problem, we could also have the decision here to actually try this. To get a modifier. The question is now if we just get a modifier or if we have to wait for it to come around. Either way, military organization. I guess before we take a look at that, we're going to end this episode here. So like always, like Sram Shanahan again. So I guess see you guys next episode. Bye.